Good evening and welcome to the Manchester Basketball Centre here in Wally Range. We're five minutes away from some NBL D2 action. We've got the Manchester Magic taking on the Bristol Hurricanes. Manchester currently sitting at the top of the standings, 13 and 2, and Bristol are at 8 and 8. So, Manchester coming off um, a disappointing loss to Charnwood last weekend, a 94-71 loss. And the Bristol Hurricanes had a win over Charnwood, 93-78, which was behind 43 points from Devon Rucker on zero threes and shooting at 57%, 19 rebounds as well to go along with those 43 points. So Devon Rucker, a player one to watch today. Looking at how the teams match up, we've got a pretty evenly matched game today. Uh, the Magic shoot around 43% from the field to Bristol's 40. Rebounds per game, nearly 40 for the Magic and just over 38 and a half for the Hurricanes. Three point shooting is something we know the Magic can do when they need to and they've got a lot of weapons on the team. They can sink that three when they need to. 31% uh, to the Hurricanes 27. Both teams really close in points per game as an average. 77.7 for Bristol and 78.5 for the Magic. So expecting a really close, really tight game today. The Magic are one are gonna, gonna want to come out strong after their defeat last weekend. And Bristol eager to push themselves over the 500 mark. So I'm Caroline Bullock. Um, Adam Masters is currently on the way back from Leeds after coaching the under-14s Mystics 3 team, so he'll be joining us at some point, as traffic allows. Um, and until then, we've got the starting fives for the team. So, the Magic, we will have Ben Brown back in action and Farrow Garden, two guys missing last week. Mo Shergo, uh, Andre Gale and Terrell Brown. Farrow Gordon, a huge piece for this Magic team. 18.4 points per game, 9.6 rebounds. And Ben Brown having a fantastic season as well at such a young age. 13 points per game and 2.7 rebounds, 1.6 assists. So two guys that um, the Magic might have missed a little bit last week um, and will definitely be coming out strong today. For Bristol, we have Jordan Ranklin, Casey Smith, Kosarevas Gigimantas, Devon Rucker, and Anthony Brown starting for the Hurricanes. So, just a couple of minutes away from tip off. Make sure to like and subscribe to the Manchester Magic and Mystics YouTube channel. Uh, we'll be bringing you all the home games for the Magic for the rest of the season and the D2 Mystics games as well. So, we'll be back with you in just a couple of minutes' time. Stick around.
So just a few seconds away from tip off and so he's getting ready to come onto court. So going up for the tip today, we've got Mo Shergo for the Magic, going up against Devon Rucker for Bristol. And here we go, balls up. Mo grabs it. And it will be Magic ball. Brown hands off to Shergo. To Ben Brown, who's driving inside, puts up the float. Oh, nice basket from Ben Brown. Quick two points for the Magic. Gets on the board early. Jugamantis for Bristol. Working against Gale, off the screen. Hands it over to Rucker. Puts up the shot, that one's no good. Farrow Gordon's there for the rebound. Magic coming back. Gale to Shergo. And Mo Shergo drops it in. Two points for the Magic. Jugamantis controlling things for the Hurricanes. Ranklin hands it off to Rucker. He's driving, goes up. Good defense from Farrell Gordon. Farrell's on the break. Hands it off to Ben Brown. Three is up and no good to short. Shogo grabs a rebound for the Magic and another 14 on the shot clock. Brown off to Terrell Brown. Hands it off to Gale. Gale drives, floater. No good, shot clock violation. And that's going to be end line Bristol ball. So Smith working against Brown. Magic putting the pressure on defense here. And that'll be foul called on Mo Shogo for the Magic. Sign line Hurricanes ball. Mantis into Rucker. And shots just short for Bristol. Brown to Shergo. Oh, nice block off the glass from Rucker. Bristol back on the attack. Rucker, Jura steps inside and he's going to get the foul call and he is going to head to the line. So Devon Rucker at the line for two. He's shooting 83% from the line this season. No surprise, given how well he's been scoring so far. Hits the first one. And second one just pops out. So 4-1, magic lead, eight minutes to go in the first quarter. Farrow Gordon drive in, and he's blocked by Rucker. Gordon to Brown, got it by Smith. Brown inside to Shergo, looked like he wasn't quite expecting that. Spins, puts it up, tough shot from Mo Shergo. Rucker's coming back. Spins to the basket, off the glass, and what a move from Devon Rucker. Cuts the magic lead to one. Ben Brown, driving, floaters up, drops in. 
Another two for the Magic. Jiggy Mantis. Over to Brown. Works inside. Smith puts up the three, and that one's no good for Bristol. Farrell Gordon off to Shergo. He's driving. Shot's too strong. Manages to not quite keep the rebound. Bristol are going to grab it. And Smith is going to go all the way. He's going to head to the foul line. So we're going to have a timeout, Bristol. Score is 6-3 with 6-3 to the Magic with 6.51 to go. And both teams coming out really strong this first quarter, just like you'd expect. To Vaughan Rooker with all three of Bristol's points so far. Magic are going to be pleased with how they've started today after a bit of a slow start last weekend um, against the Charnwood Riders. Off the back of a double header last weekend as well. So a lot of the Magic players have spoken about it before, but the, their goal this season is they want to win the league. They want to, to get back into Division 1. And with a 13 and 2 record they're looking good but they don't want to drop any more games so looking to make a comeback today move them to 14 and 2 keep that top spot as theirs right so teams back on the court Gordon's going to inbound for the magic and Brown works against Smith Bristol with the full court press Brown off the screen from Shogo. To Brown. Over to Gale. Swings it to Gordon in the corner. He's all alone. Swish. Nothing but net on that one for Farrell Gordon. Magic take a six point lead. Some really good ball movement from Magic on that possession. Exactly what you want to see. Getting Farrell Gordon open in the corner. Easy basket. Ziggy Mantis. To Rooker. Smith drives, kicks it out. Franklin, and that is going to be a shot clock violation. So, ball is back with the magic. Ben Brown over to Andre Gale. Gale to Shergo. Gordon. Oh, nice pass inside from Farrell Gordon to Mo Shergo. Just can't finish it. Mo with the rebound and the put back. Doesn't go, but an amazing pass from Farrow. That's one of those plays that you, you want to see finish, so you can put it on the highlight reel. Jiggy Mantis. Got it by Gale. 5.36 to go in the first quarter. Magic with a six-point lead. Ranklin working inside. Nice step inside off the glass. Gale to Shergo, Shergo drives, going baseline, kicks it out. Brown to Gordon, Gordon thought about the three, puts it up. That one doesn't go. And um, Bristol coming back to Gumantis. Oh, it passes to <laughs> Rooker, who lays it in. Looked like they were almost going to go for the alley oop, but uh, ran out of space. Brown to Gale, Shergo. Brown got it by Smith. Inside. And that's going to be foul call on the floor, which is on Casey Smith, his first. First team foul for Bristol. As we have a substitution, so Jordan Ranklin comes out. And Reese Farrell comes into the game for Bristol. Brown to Brown. Steps back, puts it up, and doesn't hit on that one. Smith. 
Ooh, nice pass inside. It's going to get broken up though, turnover, and Mitch Magic come back with it. Brown over to Gale. Gale puts up the three, but just steps out of bounds. It's the problem with this, the court with the multiple lines. You sometimes get a bit lost as to where you stood. So it's going to be a turnover, and ball is back with Bristol. 9-7 Magic lead with 4.26 to go in the first quarter. And it's going to be an eight-second violation. Some good defence from Andre Gale. Magic getting a bit lucky with a, a ball off the foot as well. Um, so ball's back with the Magic. Brown. He's going to go all the way. Stops, puts it in and <laughs> drops it in. Terrell Brown. Sadeji comes into the game for Bristol and Reese Farrell is going to head to the bench. Looks like he might have just uh, tweaked something there. So Bristol ball, end line ball, Magic with the press. Oh, Devon Rooker against Gordon. He's got three Magic players around him but he still manages to put it in. Brown to Gordon. Brown inside to Bailey Goodall, who's coming to the game for the first time. Bailey passes out. Brown puts up a three and hits Terrell Brown. Takes the magic to a 14 9 lead. Rooker going against Gordon. the screen drives goes all the way can't get that one to drop unlucky on that possession and Gordon hands it off to Brown to Brown again three is good Ben Brown with the big three for the magic and they're dropping today they weren't dropping last week but they're certainly dropping today for the magic 17-9 with just over three minutes to go in the first quarter Gigimantis hangs puts it up doesn't drop, but he is going to head to the foul line. As we've got a substitution for the Magic. So Terrell Brown will head to the bench. And Kefel Ulit. Sorry, Kefel Ulitwal will come into the game for the Magic. So Gigantis shooting at 55% from the line this season. First free throw is no good. Second, oh, just pops, pops in, then pops out. Brown all the way, blocked by Bruce Adeji. Now you can just see the energy that Ben Brown brings to this team. He loves the transition play. He loves to run. Good all to Brown. Little water, Gale. Gordon got three on the shot clock, needs to get something up. Gordon step back, three is up and spins out. No good. Rooker grabs the rebound. Bristol coming back. Rooker, he's going all the way, steps through and drops it in. What a move from Devon Rooker. Gordon to Brown. Brown with the crossover. Ball's knocked out of bounds and it's going to stay with the magic. As Reese Farrell's coming back in for Bristol. Good to see. Good to see he wasn't too badly hurt on that play before. And Anthony Brown is going to head to the bench for Bristol. So Gordon to Goodall. Oh, and a brilliant pass inside from Bailey. Bailey Goodall to uh, Farrow Gordon as he just lays it in. 19-11 magic lead. Mantis inside to Rooker. Beautiful pass. 
And Devon Rucker really putting on a show here today. I mean, I think he does every game, but uh, it's great to see in person. Gale goes up, can't finish it. Magic get the rebound. Farrell Gordon with the three. As the Magic take a nine point lead with just over a minute to go. Mantis hangs and manages to get that one to fall. What a tough basket that was. Good all to Brown. Lit wall over to Brown, and it's going to be a foul call on Bristol. Only second team foul of the quarter so far. Ziggy uh, Mantis will head to the bench and Anthony Brown comes back into the game for the Hurricanes. So it's going to be Magic sideline ball. Ben Brown to inbound. To Gordon. And Brown knocks it away. And we've got the quick layup from Bruce Adeji. Looked like he was thinking about a dunk. Gefell driving. Driving all the way, end to end, off the glass. Too high, too strong, manages to keep it alive. Tapped it to Goodall. Gordon gets it to Gale for the three. That one's no good. Rucker gets the rebound. 18 seconds to go. Rucker hands it off to Farrell. Steps his way inside and gets the layup. Bristol bring it back within three. Six seconds, Gale. Five. Farrow Gordon. Three is up and no good. And that will do it for the first quarter. 22-19, magic lead. And Bristol managing to cut a nine-point deficit with just over a minute to go. To uh, three. And Devon Rucker, we don't have any live stats for you, but Devon Rucker on the eye test, he's got a lot of points already. I can't give you a figure, but we'll just, we'll just say it's a lot. Um, Magic going to be pleased that they've come out strong. The threes are falling today. Had a bit of trouble with that last week. Um, obviously, one are going to keep up the intensity, keep up that pressure, and keep moving that ball around as when they are, they're getting some really good looks at the basket, especially the uh, corner three from Farrow. That's what we like to see. So. So teams coming back on court for the second quarter. And it will be a Bristol ball. So 22-19, magic lead going into the second quarter. The Deji guided by Brown. Drives to the basket and going to be a foul call on Ben Brown. Deji heading to the line. Shooting just over 47% this season. And first one is no good. Second one drops in. Takes the magic to just a two-point lead. Bristol done a really good job coming back into this. 
Ben Brown drives and it's going to be called for the charge. Two quick fouls on Ben Brown for the Magic. And you wonder if maybe he's going to have to take a seat soon. You don't want Ben getting into early foul trouble in the first half. So Rooker to Smith. Back to Rooker. Rooker behind the back, drives, spins. Hands it off to Brown, his shot's no good. Magic grab the rebound. Farrow manages to keep that one inside. Bullet wall. Back to Gordon. Brown. Gordon gets it back, puts up the three. That one's no good. And that is going to be foul call on Reese Farrell for the Hurricanes. It's going to be an end line magic ball. It's time Regent Bascom's come into the game for the first time. Regent Bascom to Gordon. Brown, fake spins, puts it up. Oh, a nice fade away from Ben Brown, and we've seen him do that so many times. He had that game winning fade away against the Doncaster Eagles earlier in the season. Smith for three, and that one's no good. Brown gets the rebound for the Magic. Oh, a nice pass off. Gordon hangs, can't get it to finish. Smith comes away with it for Bristol. Over to Brown. Inside to Farrell, who just slots it back inside. 24-22 Magic lead. Just under eight and a half minutes to go in the second quarter. Gordon to Regent Bascom. Drives, hands it out. Fell against Rooker. Regent Bascom inside to Bailey. Six on the shot clock. And it's going to be a foul call on Bristol. Second team foul. Substitution as Casarevas Gigimantis comes back into the game for Bristol. And Bruce Adeji will head to the bench. So time Regent Bascom shooting two for the Magic. And second one doesn't fall in. Still with a chance to tie or take the lead on this possession. Rooker against Brown. Loses it, manages to get it back. Gordon steals it away. Gordon to Goodall. Brown for three. That one hits, nothing but net. Oh, I think that was a long two. They called that a long two, not a three. Smith for the Hurricanes. Gigimantis against Goodall. Passes out. Rooker for three. That one's just short. Regent Baskin's there for the rebound. Gordon to Brown. This time it is a three, and that one will hit. Ben Brown. Ben having a fantastic season so far as well in uh, NBL D2. Really good to see such a young player coming out and playing uh, really strong in this league. Farrell's shot's no good. Bit of a Gigamantis to Rooker. Rooker, he'll get the foul call, he'll head to the line. Devon Rooker this season, 29.2 points per game, 12.7 rebounds and 2.2 assists. Coming out of Washington University in St. Louis, playing in NCAA D3. Oh, 
Rooker against Samuel. Rook oh, I think he thought Ingus was uh, one of the Bristol players. So time out on the floor. 31-24, 5.53 to go. So Ben Brown currently with the uh, the hot hand today. He had seven in the first quarter. Hit a few more in the second. Apologies if the pitch is not coming through too clear. Um, any issues with the stream, we will upload the game straight to YouTube afterwards so you can see it. Hopefully it's just it's about just a bit of a, a lag in the internet connection. So Rooker for Bristol. Going against Samuel, going against Ben Brown as well. Driving against two Magic players. He's going to get the foul call. So end line Bristol ball. Ranklers. Working his way inside. Doesn't get it to go, but Bristol will get the rebound. Good. And Magic just lose control of that one, so it's going to go back with Bristol. Mantis, Farrell, ooh, tough shot, he's going to get bumped as he shoots, so he's going to head to the line. Farrell's first shot is good. Second one won't go. So one or two for the line for Reese Farrell. Regent Bascom to Samuel. And that'll be a turnover for the Magic. So balls back with Bristol. So Magic with a six-point lead, just under five to go in the second quarter. Jiggy Mantis guided by Brown. Ranklin puts it up, and that one's good. Brings Bristol back within four. A lit wall. Samuel drives. Runs into a wall of Bristol players. And time Regent Bascom is going to take a seat as Farrow Gordon comes into the game.
So that is foul number two on Casey Smith for Bristol. Gordon hands it up to Goodall. Over to Samuel. Bullet wall. Drives inside, kicks it out. Gordon going against Rooker. Stops. One second to shoot. Cafell nails the three. And <laughs> Magic are firing on all cylinders today from three point range. 34 27. Magic lead. Four minutes to go. Farrell to Smith. Smith with the three. And that one's just too short. Bullet Wall gets it. To Samuel. Inside, scoops the layup, can't get that to go. Bailey Goodall manages to keep it inside, and that's what we see Bailey do all the time, just putting that work in on defense and offense. <laughs> inside, he loves a rebound as Bailey. And Bullet Wall's going to get the foul. Got bumped as he's driving inside. That is foul number one on Jordan Ranklin. Sideline magic ball. Bullet wall trips, manages to keep him, keep the dribble going. Brown against Ranklin. Brown steps back, can't get it to go. And Rooker's there for the rebound, hands it off to Farrell against Gordon, puts up the three, that one doesn't go. Samuel gets the rebound, Gordon gets it back. Hands it off to Brown, Ben Brown all alone for three. We're still getting a bit lucky there with Ben missing that one. Rooker's come in, driving inside, gets his own rebound, kicks it out, Smith. Farrell's there, shots up, and that one doesn't go, Gordon gets the rebound. Seven point magic lead. Bullet Wall driving baseline, Ben Brown for three again, and that one doesn't go. Rooker spinning inside, working his way, going against just a, an array of magic jerseys there. Farrell gets it though and puts it back, brings Bristol back within five. Good alter. Gordon. Good all. Spins. Oh, nice move inside. Bailey can't get it to drop, but gets his own rebound. Samuel puts it up. And three. Another three for the Magic. Rooker against Gordon. Rooker driving. This guy can just get to the basket. 31-37, Magic lead. Gordon keeps his dribble alive. Passes out. And Rick Wally's just going to step out of bounds on that play. As Mo Shergo and Noah Togo coming into the game for the Magic. Ben Brown and Bailey Goodall will take a seat. Jordan Ranklin and Casey Smith out for Bristol as Bruce Adeji and Anthony Brown come back in. So just over a minute 20 to go in the second quarter. Magic with a six point lead. Digimantis going against Togo. Inside, gets it in. And Togo. Drives all the way off the glass. Can't get that one to drop. Rooker grabs the rebound. Adeji. Oh, nice move. Can't get that one to drop. Brown gets the rebound. Bristol going to get another 14 on the shot clock. And, ooh, it's going to call a backcourt on that one. I don't think Farrell was quite over the halfway line when it was passed back to him. So it's going to be sideline for the Magic. Noah Togo to inbound. Togo gets it back. Five 
five on the shot clock. Togo passes out. Ullit Wall, three, two. Puts up the floater on the buzzer. Caffell nails it for the Magic. Magic putting the pressure on there. But I think that's going to be a foul on uh, Trevor Samuel. He knows that one. He's not arguing with that one. And that's going to send Bristol to the line. This will be Anthony Brown shooting two. And Brown shooting 75% from the line this season for Bristol. Averaging four points per game and four rebounds per game. As well as 2.3 steals. So the first shot's no good for Bristol. And the second one's just short. So that's going to be sideline magic ball. 23.7 seconds to go. So magic can hold for the final shot of the quarter. Togo. To Samuel. 14 seconds. Samuel. Will it wall? Back to Togo, seven to shoot. Togo spins, four, drives, balls stolen away. Rooker puts it up, it's gonna be too long after the buzzer. And that's gonna do it for the first half. 39-33, Magic lead by six. And Magic having a really strong shooting performance from three today, something they're gonna be pleased with. Bristol though. Magic taking a bit of a lead and then Bristol cutting it ev down every time, not, not giving up. So, really close game so far. Devon Rooker putting on a show for the fans. And Ben Brown with the hot hand for the Magic today. We're going to take a quick break. We'll be back with you in around 10 minutes time. Um, so make sure you stick with us and we'll be back soon.
inside the game. Well, Pat, this was always going to be a bit of an emotional day for you. Both Whelan's in a final. How's it been this week, first of all? Yeah, man, it's been a, it's been a heavy week, a lot of media, um, a lot of build-up. But uh, You are superstars now, yeah, man. Yeah, I know, something like that. But, um, but no, I'm honestly just happy, you know, the week's over and, and we came out with the win. That's yeah. it. That's all it is. All Definitely. It is. Well, we, we counted up during the game there. There's actually six guys that are out of the Manchester Magic Academy playing in this nice. game today over both teams. It, it just It's just such an amazing thing to see guys from the academy come through and play in these finals. And, of course, you've been overseas. How does it feel sort of being back in the country and sort of repping Manchester, a bit of Warrington, yeah, yeah. repping the Magic, but a rider? No, I'm definitely repping the Magic. Um, you know, it feels it feels great. You know, just to be able to go back home every now and again, to be able to you know go back home, support the Magic, and and you know go to watch my brother play, to play against my brother. It's, honestly, it's a blessing. So um, so yeah, really 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 happy I made that decision. Yeah, I saw your dad earlier on, and I just looked at him, and he was like, I'm supporting the Leicester Giants and the Manchester <laughs> Riders today. Obviously, your dad a legend, the Wheeling family legends of the Manchester yeah. Magic. So I just want to say congratulations to you, man. Thank it's you great seeing you in the BBL as well. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So I saw you, you were at the Magic a few weeks ago. I was. I yeah, was, yeah, yeah. It was yeah, great yeah. seeing you guys there. You're gonna get down for a few more games. Yeah, hoping to get down. You know, um, I know Farrow plays for him now, and that's one of my best friends. You know, always grew up there. Always, you know, got love for the program. So yeah, yeah, definitely be back there. And one last one. What do you think about the game tonight? It was um, Giants looked like they were in it in the first quarter, and then the yeah. second it kind of fell off a bit. But you always kind of looked in control. Does that sound about right? Yeah, I mean, that's kind of how it's been. Going. So welcome back to the Manchester Basketball Centre. Adam's made it from Leeds, the other side of the Pennines. Yes, it's uh, snowing back in the motherland of yours there, Kaz. Um, yeah, very snowy up in Headingley today. Mystics under 14s, three out of game against Leeds up there. So yes, I am back in the house. <laughs> what, have you, uh, what have you thought of what you've heard of the game so far? Well, it sounds like it's been about Rucker so far. Um, his stats are incredible for the first half. Yeah, I think he has 15 points. Yeah, I mean, a double-double already. 15 points and 11 rebounds. I'll tell you what I like about uh, Rucker that I noticed. So he had his 43-point game a couple of weeks ago against Charnwood. He does it, and he doesn't shoot threes. This is a this is a mid-range and drive to the basket guy. Well, He's our era. You know what? It, that's my kind of basketball. Um, as you know, I'm a stickler for '90s style basketball and '80s style basketball. So anyone that shoots mid-range jumpers for me and, and scores that many points <laughs> as well, I'm down with it. So back underway in the third. Brown drives to the budget, basket for the magic. That one doesn't go. Magic with a six point lead as we head into the third. Ben Brown leading the 
all scorers today with 16 for the Magic. Shigimantis drives, he's going to get the foul call, so he's going to head to the line. Foul will be on Mo Shergo for the Magic. And a 55% shooter from the line this season. First shot's no good. One, two short, Mo Shergo grabs the rebound, Ben Brown's coming back. Over to Shergo, to Brown. And going to be a travel call on Terrell Brown. Ball's back with Bristol. That's one of those frustrating uh, travels for Terrell there. Your foot just kind of slips you, when you're as quick as Terrell Brown. Sometimes your feet don't react as quickly as you, as, you, as you need them to or react too quickly. And uh, he just kind of slipped. It's just one of those unfortunate things. He didn't make a big deal of it. I think he knew. Farrell guided by Shergo. Gigimantis. Spins. Oh, nice move. Too strong off the glass. Rooker tries to put it back, but that one's a bit too strong as well. Gale. Euro steps inside, hangs, and going to get the foul call. So Andre Gale's going to head to the line. And Andre shooting 58% from the line this season for the Magic. First one doesn't fall. Second is good. One or two from the line for Andre Gale. Andre's first points of the game tonight. Rooker, double teams. Over to Deji. He's going to hang inside, and that's going to be a Charging foul, that's going to go the way of the magic. Is that a second team foul in the quarter for Bristol? So Brown just controlling the ball for the magic. Guided by Brown over to Gordon, and Gordon slips, and ball's going to go out of bounds with the Magic. You might have a bit of a slippy floor there. I think two players went down. Yeah, it looks like it. I mean, Farrow did well, though. He went down, and he managed to keep control of the ball and win the possession anyway. Um, You'll have to watch it back, but in the in the first half, we had Terrell slipping, managing to keep the, the dribble going as he's on the floor. <laughs> Just quick clean up of the floor. Magic inbound. Brown to Gordon. Shergo. Oh, shot clock. I think we all missed that one. Yeah, I don't think Mo knew what was going on there. I think he thought that they had a fresh shot clock, or at least a 14 second shot clock, because he looked as surprised as everybody when that one went. So Devon Rooker guided by Brown. Rooker leading the way for the Hurricanes today. Gigamantis, Farrell. Deji, pass to Rooker's broken up. Magic can't keep it, but look at this Magic defence. They're just swarming all over the Hurricanes. Well, I mean, defence has been the key to the Magic's offence in a lot of ways. I mean, once they get going on the defence, the offence starts to take care of itself. And... Uh, that's what they'll do to you. They'll, they'll, they'll wind the shot clock down and frustrate you into four shots like that. 
and that's just kind of what Magic weren't doing last week against Charmwood, but are very much regrouped and are doing it tonight. Yeah, everything that wasn't working last week is definitely working today. They're hitting the threes, that defence is coming on strong. The Shergo over to Brown. Ben Brown, ah, oh, pass, passes just tapped away, so Bristol going to steal that one. Rooker. Deji. Down to Brown, his shot doesn't go. Rooker gets the rebound. Out to Farrell, shots up, that's good. And that's going to be a three for Farrell. So 40-36. Magic lead. Brown inside, spins and puts it in. Magic back to a six-point lead. Farrell working inside against Shergo. Spins, puts it up, that's too strong, that's going to go out of bounds, but it's going to stay with Bristol. And we're getting into a lot of one-on-one -on -one matchups under the basket as well today. Just know it just both teams as well. Driving, getting inside, shot <laughs> that shot's up, doesn't go. Bristol with the rebound again. Hands off to Rooker's broken up. Farrell Gordon hands it off to Gale. Andre Gale with the and one. Basket and the foul. He's going to head to the line for the three-point play. Well, isn't that just the link-up that you love? Farrell Gordon to Andre Gale. Tough move to the basket. Andre says, uh-uh. You're not having me not scoring any baskets <laughs> in the first half. This is mine. Just a great handoff as well. Yep. So Andre shooting one at the line. And drops it in. Five points in the game for Andre. 45-36 magic lead. Just over six minutes to go in the third quarter. Smith. Off the screen from Rooker. Gigamantis back to Smith. He's going to drive inside. Kicks it out. Three is up. And that hits. Nothing but net on that one. 45-39, Magic with a six-point lead. Brown working against Smith. Shergo inside to Brown. And going to keep that one alive. Shergo gets it back. Drives, passes out. Gordon for three, too short. Rooker with the rebound. Magic have done a really good job on Rooker this second half. Not letting him get his usual points. And Farrell drives to the basket with a tough make. 45-41. So Magic keep increasing the lead. Bristol just keep coming back. Ben Brown to Gordon. Gordon drops it in. Every time Bristol answer, Magic just answers straight back. It's going to be a turnover Bristol. You mentioned that about uh, Rooker there, not quite scoring as freely as he's been doing of late. That's what this Magic defence will do to you. They'll frustrate you and they'll drive you insane. <laughs> so that's, that seems to be kind of what they're coming out doing to him in the second half so far. And on that note, who comes into the game but Bailey Goodall, well, defensive pest. The defensive menace is out there. Gordon with six to shoot. Steps back, threes up, Farrow Gordon oh. nails it. A beautiful shot from Farrow. Perfect, perfect footwork, perfect movement. Hey, I mean, this guy, we, just, we know how good he is. BBL player, BBL, still BBL standard player. Absolutely privileged to have him playing here for the Magic. Hand off under the basket, it's no good for Bristol. Magic coming back, Brown over to Brown. Gordon, he's going and lays it in, Farrow Gordon. He's seen Ben Brown's 16 points and gone, hey, yeah. I want a piece of that. I want a piece of that for sure, young fella. 
But you see what the Magic do there is that once they're, be, they're patient, they play beautiful perimeter basketball, they wait for the right pass, the right shot. I mean, there was, what, three, four passes there before the shot? Exactly, yeah. The ball movement that they have going on is fantastic. And it's every, you know, we see a really rounded team on the Magic as well, don't we? Sometimes, you know, someone's going to go off, but a lot of the time we see a really rounded team game as well. Everyone's getting on the score sheet, everyone's, like, playing a part. That's definitely. Gordon again passes out. Bailey Goodall. Andre Gale in the corner. That shot's too short into the hands of Farrell. Beautiful pass out from Bailey Goodall there, finding Andre in his favourite position to shoot freeze from. Jigamantus over to Smith. Smith with the crossover. And loses control. Ben Brown gets in the way. Manages to grab the ball. Loose. I tell you what, that's what you love to see from the young fellow there. He dived on that ball. He wanted that ball so bad. It's what you need to see from these young players. As Ben Brown takes a seat and Cafella Lit Wall comes into the game. So sideline Bristol ball, two minutes 43 to go in the third. Bristol's pass, just lose control of that one, so it's going to go back with the magic. Brown off the screen from Bailey. Drives inside, reverse layup, and just won't drop. Bristol with the rebound. And nearly lost it there, Terrell Brown coming up behind, trying to steal the ball away. Nice fake and pass. No, he's gone up for the shot. <laughs> so Julian Mantes will head to the line for Bristol. That's going to be foul on Andre Gale, his second. And Magic come out really strong in this third quarter as well, taking it up to a, a nine-point lead. Yeah, that'll be the biggest of the, of the game so far, right? Yeah, yeah. First free throw is no good for Bristol. doesn't drop as well for the Hurricanes. So Magic coming back on offense. Farrow Gordon going one-on-one, -on -one, goes to the basket, oh. hangs. Oh. Yeah, you can see it in his eyes. He, <laughs> want, he wanted a piece of the basket there. We've not had a dunk today, I'm yeah, just waiting. I think he was thinking very much of doing that just for a slender cars. We know Farrow loves a dunk. <laughs> Ranklin to Rooker. Rooker against Gordon. Over to Smith. Smith puts up the three. That one doesn't go. And Magic with the rebound. Regent Bascom against Farrell. <laughs> a scoop <laughs> layup. I thought he was going for a pass there. <laughs> Uh, time's, time's a clever player. I think he was thinking of the pass and then thought, hey, why not? I'm going to change my mind and put up a layup. <laughs> Rooker going against Goodall. Two Magic players on him, hands it out to Farrell, puts up the three and that one will... Good all to Gordon. Gordon drives baseline. <laughs> it's like it's almost like he's winding himself up for something. <laughs> Again, the only thing on Farrow's mind there was getting to the bucket, stuffing the ball down, but he drew the foul. So either way, he kind of wins. Yeah, there's a ball going in the basket either way. Yeah. So Farrow shooting 76% from the line this season. First one doesn't fall. It's 
one or two from the line for Farrell to go in the third quarter. Going to be really pleased with uh, this performance so far after last week. Third quarter, almost at the end. 5.8 seconds to go. Magic going get, to gonna get the ball. And let's see what they've drawn up. Good all to Togo. Togo puts up the three, and that one's no good. And uh, Bristol not got enough time to get a shot off, so that will do it for the third quarter. 57-46, an 11-point Magic lead. Well, Magic looking control going into the final quarter, but <clears throat> it's a Bristol team really sleep on. And uh, I know that Pete Paraskeever after last week was a bit worried that some complacency had maybe started to set in. And you can tell that the Magic tonight have just gone that. We're going uh, we're gonna to do what we do best. So I'd expect to see them coming out firing in the fourth quarter and really wanting to sort of stretch the lead a little bit, see if they can put this one to bed. Yeah, definitely. It's like a tough loss, isn't it, last week against Charmwood? But, you know, yeah. you've got to bounce back, as we um, spoke to Latin Malik last week. Yeah, I mean, he, Latin said it as, it as it was. You know, he'd rather a victory than scoring 40 points in a ball <laughs> game. Um, but what he also, I think he said it in the interview as well, is that, you, you know, we can't get complacent. But sometimes a loss is, is what you need to actually reinvigorate yourself to go, oh, we, we've been winning. Can't so, team's back on court for the fourth quarter. And Magic with an 11-point lead. So, leading scorers for today, we have been on 18 points for the Magic, and Ben Brown on 16, and Zavon Rucker with 17. So, just two points in the third quarter. Magic doing a really good job getting points in the quarter. Togo over to Regent Bascom. Drives the baseline, kicks it out. Gordon to Togo. Puts up the floater, too short. Bailey manages to get the rebound. It's going to be a jump ball. And that's going to go Bristol's way. So Bristol with some work to do here in the third quarter. Sorry, fourth quarter. Rucker against Gordon puts up the shot and that one's going to drop. So quick two points for Rucker in this quarter, takes him to 19. Gordon to Goodall. Drives, kicks out. Togo's there, got time for the three. Puts it up, it won't go. And Bristol going to get the rebound. Rucker's there with it. It's his 15th rebound of the game. Deji hands it off to Shigamantis. Pass inside to Farrell, stolen away. And can throw it down a little bit. Good all. Regent Bascom, back to Togo. Good all to Gordon. Gordon over to Togo, five to shoot for the Magic. Togo steps inside, beautiful pass to time Regent Bascom who reverse lays it in. I mean, there's some showtime stuff from the Magic <laughs> there. Beautiful little pass inside from, from Noah Togo, but again, it's that patience. The shot clock's going down, but they continue to pass until the shot's on. Yeah, no, no panic. Get the right shot, take the right shot. Seven to shoot for Bristol. Jiggyman is working inside, ball's poked away. Good old gets it, Farrow Gordon. Togo, just a pass, just a bit too strong. Noah couldn't quite get there, so it's going to go back with Bristol. Magic maintaining an 11 point lead with just under eight minutes to go in the fourth. Farrell. 
Over to Deji. He's going to head to the line as he gets foul on that shot. And a Deji. One or two from the line so far tonight. First shot doesn't go. Second one bounces out as well, and Bailey Goodall gets the rebound. Oh, no, a Togo against Smith. Togo gets it back. He's going inside. Beautiful pass on the baseline. Gordon's shot's too strong. Magic can't keep hold of that one. Deji steps inside. Great defense from Cafel. Manages to strip the ball. Gordon. Too strong off the glass, and Bristol will come back with it. Just end to end basketball here today. Bailey Goodall with the block. Yeah, Bailey just goes in and says, Get out of here. And that is why he's a defensive menace. Yeah, I mean, the magic at the moment, the, the transition play. I mean, you see how quickly Cafell gets down the floor there. Farrow and Lucky not to make the bucket, but this, this, this team is quick. You know, you look at the guys out there, you've got Noah Togo. Farrow Gordon, Cafell. This is a quick bunch of guys, and then to get back on defence that quick and for Bailey Goodall to come up with a clean block. Yeah, it's great. Just some really great play we're seeing today. Most definitely is. And they're the little things you've got to do, aren't they? They're the little things that get back, get on, on D, yeah. get the ball away without fouling. It's tough. So Smith decides to Rooker. He's working against Gordon, gets it back to Smith. Farrell is just met by a sea of Magic jerseys. And again, that's some tough defense. Comes off Bristol, Magic force a turnover, and they're gonna get the ball back. Well, Noah Togo. Against Smith, 10 on the shot clock. Gordon, step back. Passes it out, Togo's in the corner, drives baseline, and ooh, that's a hard fall for Noah. I mean, it's like we say quite often, Noah Togo, he doesn't look like the biggest guy on the floor, but boy does that guy have no fear. <laughs> and he went straight into traffic there, went down hard, he's up, he's okay, he's a tough guy. So time Regent Bascom heading to the bench, Trevor Samuel coming into the game. No, it's fine. He's just walking it off, isn't he? He, he doesn't want to rest. So, I think I missed that, but did they call a foul on that play? Yeah, I think there's a bit of a conversation going on between the Bristol coach and the, uh, and the referees there. I'm not quite sure what the what 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 he was asking though, because I mean that was a you know that was Togo got pretty clobbered there as he went under the basket. So Noah's first shot doesn't drop. Now yeah, second one is good. One or two from the line for Noah Togo. 12 point magic lead with just over six and a half minutes to go in the fourth quarter. Devon Rooker puts up the three and that one doesn't go. Fell grabs the rebound, hands it off to Samuel. He's going to drive, it's going to be a foul on the floor. Oh, is that? Offensive foul, I think it was on Farrow. Nope. No, it was on Bristol. That is on Bruce Adeji, his fourth foul for Bristol. Bristol's second team foul in the quarter. So 
So Magic holding uh, Bristol to just two points this quarter so far, Adam. The defence obviously working, back in, back in sync, unlike last week. Well, most definitely. In, um, I think they've missed Farrow Gordon the last couple of games as well. The extra energy that he brings, the extra bit of uh, strength that he brings as well. Yeah, and, definitely. Uh, that, that couple with a loss last week um, has it, really obviously sparked the team and they're just... They're just so up for it right now. That's just um, it's, it's kind of back to the magic way. But a 12.4 game does not make it a ball game when you're playing against a team like Bristol. If Rookie gets hot in this last few minutes, yeah, so we've, we've gonna, seen it. We've seen it happen. Yeah, we've we? seen it happen. Six minutes is a long time in basketball. We say it all the it time. Sure is. We? Yeah. Well, I mean, we watched. Um, Bristol uh, Flyers in the BBL go out with Plymouth uh, <laughs> Patriots last night, double overtime. What a game that was. What a mascot they've got. Yeah, what a crazy guy. So Brown to Goodall. Brown gets it back. Gordon hands back to Brown. Over to Samuel. Goes to the oh. basket and somehow makes that drop and he's going to head to the line as well. Circus shot. Well, I'll tell you what, Trevor Samuel's one of those guys that he comes in quite quietly, um, slips into the game. But he was, last week, he was actually one of the best players on the on the floor. And uh, he very, very much knows his role, this guy. He comes on, he plays hard, and then he comes up with a basket like that with a chance for an and one. And Trevor shooting 50% from the line for the Magic. First trip to the line tonight, and he won't get the friendly roll on that one. So Magic with a 14 point lead. Farrell loses control of it. Samuel's there. Three on two. Caffell gets the roll, and that's going to take Magic to a 16 point lead. And Bristol want a timeout to talk things over. It's not until you sit in 10, 12 feet away from the court. <laughs> that you realise how fast Caffell is. The speed he gets down the court is unreal. I mean, what is he? He's he, like 5'11", 6 foot, something like that. But when this guy springs into action, it's, it's over. And it, he's such a strong guy as well. He's got that big upper body. If he wants to get to the basket, he's going to get there and he's going to get there hard. And that, that just, for me, that was because Caffell all over. Strong defence, comes up with a steal, all the way down court, bucket. It's what, it's what he does, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, that, that, that should that, that'd be Caffell's T-shirt. <laughs> it, it's what I do. And you spoke to him a couple of weeks ago, didn't you, after the game? You know, how, How's he been doing so, coming back after injury as well? Yeah, I mean, obviously he's, he, he had an injury, so he, he didn't play a whole lot last year. Um, but, I mean, <laughs> look at him go. He, he, you know, you wouldn't think that this is a guy that's come back from an injury. I mean, sometimes when you've not been able to play, you just, you just got to go for it because yeah. you just you miss playing so yeah. much. yeah. And can't you just tell? <laughs> yeah, definitely. So just over six to go in the game. 64-48, Magic lead. Rooker's double, and Magic have seem to have found the answer to this, don't they? They're just doubling Rooker at every possession. Farrell, shot's too strong, Rooker's there. As I say that, Rooker gets the rebound and the put back. And Magic seems to be, their defensive plan seems to be double Rooker, you know, let the other guys take a shot if you want, but stop if you can <laughs> slow down this guy. Well, I'm sure Pete, Pete Paraskeva is, is a guy that will definitely scout a lot before a game. And uh, I'd, I'd imagine that his, his, he probably emphasised a lot before the game that you got to double, double down on this guy, and they've done just that. It's a 14 point lead, good all. Will it wall? Brown. Oh, nice pass inside to Trevor Samuel. All alone under the basket. Looked a bit shocked as well. I think he was That's surprised it. to be hey, so open. Guys, it's just Trevor down there minding his own business, <laughs> doing what he does. And that's going to be a foul call on Caffell. <laughs> and he's like, yeah, <laughs> that wasn't me. Yeah. <laughs> he was going for the block, but... Call on the floor's a foul. And that puts him on four. He 
It's just having a little chat with Ingus Bankovic there saying, come on, ref, you sure? So Devon Rooker at the line misses the first shot. Averaging 29 points a game for Bristol. Second one's good. What a player. Make sure you get down to uh, your local team when Bristol are there so you can see him in person. Samuel, pull it warm, and just keep it inside. He's tripping over people, puts up the three. No way! Kefel! <laughs> what a sequence that was. He did all the hard work and then found himself <laughs> open and just went, oh, okay, I'll pop it. Oh, Samuel uh -oh, passes uh -oh, back. Uh -oh. Farrow Gordon slams it home. Third time lucky big guy. He's been looking for that all night. Finally gets his throw down. We've been waiting for that one, Farrow. And Magic just now with a, he's quickly spun the lead up to 19. Smith, Farrell. Shots too short, Gordon grabs the rebound, hands it off to Brown, and Magic looking super confident in this fourth quarter. Gordon to Goodall. And ball's knocked away, gonna go back with Bristol. 4.18 to go and a 71-52 Magic lead. They've just put the pressure on now. No ease up. That's, that's it. This, this team will, will force you to play until the last second of the game. Ranklin's three is too short. Magic get the rebound. Will it wall to Samuel? Samuel Gordon for three. That one's no good. Deji brings it up for the Hurricanes. Farrell inside to Ranklin. Can't get that one to drop. Rooker's there. Steps back, puts it up. Oh, beautiful shot from Devon Rooker. Samuel, will it wall? He's driving. Stops, pops, pops it up. Can't get that one to drop. And Magic really taking control in this fourth quarter. Everyone's getting involved today. Farrell to Rooker. And Rooker's going to go to the line. And Zavon Rooker, as we said, out of Washington University in St. Louis. Played NCAA D3. And making an absolute name for himself in uh, Division Two over here this season. Such an impressive player at nearly 30 points a game as he's at the line. First shot is good. And so is the second. Takes the Hurricanes to 56, 15 point magic lead. Three minutes, 10 to go in the fourth quarter. Brown out to Gordon, Samuel. Samuel's gonna try the three, why not? <laughs> and that hits. Everyone's getting involved in the three-point action today for the Magic. And Trevor Samuel having a really strong fourth quarter again, just like he did last week against the Charnwood Riders. Ranklin to Rooker, spins. Oh, manages to get the basket and the foul. Gonna head to the line, that was a tough basket as well. Gordon was all over him. As we've got a substitution, Ben Brown is back into the game for the Magic. Farrow Gordon's going to take a seat. And Ben, 13 points for game, 2.7 rebounds and 1.6 assists. Great season for the Magic in D2. Rooker makes that free throw. Takes it back to a 15 point lead. Martin Malik in the game for the Magic for the first time. Malik comes in, hit, puts the three up, doesn't go. And it's going to be a foul call, so Ball is back with Bristol. And Martin Malik again, another player who had a really strong fourth quarter against the Riders last week. He 
you know, they didn't get the win, but some of the players that don't get as much court time, able to get on, get a bit of experience. As Gianni Kelly is going to shoot two for Bristol. He hits the first. And the second, he's going to go two or two from the line. Takes Bristol to 61, 13 point magic lead. Bristol putting on the pressure still. Putting the defensive pressure on Samuel out to Brown. He goes off the screen from Bailey. Ben Brown to Malik. Goes inside. It's going to be all ball that one, turnover. Rooker inside to Farrell, looking to get it back. Farrell spins, goes baseline, and it's going to be a foul on Bailey Goodall. So Reese Farrell shooting two for the line. Second leading scorer on Bristol this season, 16.2 points per game. Misses the second from the line. But Bristol get the rebound. Going to get another chance. Farrell gets it back. Steps inside, broken up by Malik, and can't keep it inside for the Magic. But some really good defence from Malik there. Nearly forcing the turnover. Kelly to Rooker. Step back. Three is too short into the hands of Brown. And Magic up 12 with just over a minute to go. Malik to Goodall. Samuel to Malik. Brown, eight to shoot for the Magic. And ball's tapped away by Ranklin. Smith comes away with it. He's going all the way. Scoop layup, can't get it to go. Who's there for the rebound, Rooker? And Kelly loses control. Bailey Goodall comes away with it for the magic. And Brown stolen by Rooker. One on one, Rooker and Brown. And Rooker can't get that one to drop, but he's going to go to the line for two free throws. So Bristol not giving an inch still. Bristol still fighting. You love to see teams playing like that. Rooker back at the line tonight. First basket's good. Brings Bristol to within 11. Second is also good. 10 point magic lead, just over 40 seconds to go. Brown to Samuel. Samuel, guided by Rooker, over to Brown. Ben Brown to Goodall. Samuel, seven to shoot, working inside. He's going to get the foul call and he's going to head back to the line. And Trevor Samuel with a really great fourth quarter today for the Magic. And that is foul number three on Jordan Ranklin for Bristol. So Samuel nails the first. And the second, what a fourth quarter Trevor Samuel is having. 76-64, Magic lead. Bristol lose control of that one, so Magic gonna get the last possession of the game. And Ben Brown is just going to dribble it out for the Manchester Magic. So a great 12-point win for the Magic today. 76-64 over the Bristol Hurricanes. Fueled by Ben Brown and Farrow Gordon. And just a, an all-around really great team effort. That defensive play that the Magic are known for is back. They're hitting their threes. 
they had a loss against Charnwood last week and they said, okay, okay, we need to get back on track. We'll show you, we'll show you what the top of the league leaders are like. And there they are, 14 and two to the magic. Bristol dropped to eight and nine, just under 500. But a really close game from both teams. Really great, great basketball on show today. Devon Rucker, get down to your local NBL D2 team and see this guy in person, because he is incredible. So both teams with the uh, appreciation for the table and the referees. Um, thanks very much for joining us. Again, apologies if there was any issues with the internet lag. We will get the full game uploaded, um, so there shouldn't be any delays if you want to watch it back. Um, weather, <laughs> weather causing havoc with the internet, roads and everything this weekend. Um, so thanks for joining us. We will try and grab some game interview, and that will be up on Adam's Brand 161 YouTube channel shortly. Um, we are back tomorrow as the Manchester Mystics in D2 take on the Sheffield Hatters at 5 o'clock. Um, so we'll be live on the Manchester Magic and Mystics YouTube channel then. So make sure to join us. We'll be back with the Magic in their next game on the 5th of March um, at 6.30pm. So from the Manchester Basketball Centre, 76-64 is your final score. And thank you for joining us. We'll see you next time.